can anyone stop you from speaking your own native language what if your favorite language teacher leave the school and you were left with no other option to learn your very own language we all know it would be a great loss so hello friends yasmin here from my education my par today we'll discuss the story to answer these above question with the help of the chapter the last lesson from the book flamingo class 12 While I'll paraphrase the chapter, literary text will be appearing before you on the screen with meanings of all the difficult words. I suggest you all to highlight the words and note down the meanings as well. So let's get started. This is a story repeating itself in the France of today. It was written in 1873 about an unconquerable people whose leaders had surrendered to Germany. Before we start let's know some interesting fact about the author. Alphonse Daudet was born in Nimes. Daudet the son of poor factory workers went to Paris in 1857 where he published his first volume of poetry Les Amoureuses just a year later. In the same year he got a position with Figaro. Daudet's short story The last lesson set in the backdrop of Franco-Prussian war is narrated from the perspective of a little boy named Franz. The story deals with the occupation of Alsace-Lorraine in the year 1870. The story provides us a brief yet memorable glimpse of how one's language is rooted to one's identity. The last lesson is a great reminder of how important it is to love and learn one's language in order to protect one's individual and collective identity. Let's discuss about the characters of the story. There are two main characters in the story are M Hamel and Franz. M Hamel is a teacher who has been teaching French to the people of Alsace and Lorraine for 40 years. Though he is a dutiful and sincere teacher yet at times he too neglected his duties and sent children to water the flowers or gave them a holiday when he wanted to go for fishing. Franz who is a protagonist of the story is a student at M Hamel school. He is negligent about his studies but later in the story his attitude changes and he understands the importance of his own language. Watcher is a blacksmith. Horsher like a watcher, he is also a minor character who attends the last class. The story begins one fine morning when we find little Franz was in hurry as he was getting late for school and he was quite scared of his French teacher M Hamel as he had said that he would ask question to all the students on participle but Franz did not know anything about it. He was more scared of being scolded than he thought to bunk his class and enjoy the day out in the warm and bright weather. He also described the scene of the morning here. There were birds chirping on the trees and the noise of the Prussian soldiers doing the drill behind the sawmill could also be heard. The scene outside was more attractive than the oral test of participles but Franz controlled the temptation and chose to attend school. While Franz was passing the town hall he saw a crowd gathered around a bulletin board. Here bulletin board is a notice board where all the bad news had been communicated to the people through this board. Now what was the bad news here? Actually the war with Prussia had begun 2 and a half years ago and the Alsace and Lorraine were occupied by the Prussian. Apart of this many other bad news like lost battles, droughts and the orders of the commanding officers come through this bulletin. Franz kept on walking towards the school and thought in his mind that what news could have been put up at the board now. As he walked hurriedly towards the school, the blacksmith who was also reading the news saw Franz and called him. 
Although Franz was in hurry, but still he went to him. Then the blacksmith said that he need not go in such a hurry, as there was plenty of time for him to reach school. Franz thought that the blacksmith was making fun of him, as he was already late for school. When Franz reached the garden outside the school, he was out of breath, as he was running too fast to reach school. Now in this paragraph the writer described normally when class start there were a lot of noise enough to be heard like the moving of desk children repeating the lessons together and loudly and teachers striking the tables with the iron scales and all but that day was unusual it was not as normal as before there was no such sounds in the school and it seemed that the school was closed as it used to be on sunday morning Franz planned that he would enter the class with such noise without being noticed but that did not seem possible now because the entire school was quiet and silent through the open window he saw his classmates already in the seats and M Hamel who was walking in the class with his terrible iron ruler under his arm he had no other choice but to open the door and enter in the class and again the class seemed very quiet He was really scared of the teacher and was sure that his teacher would scold him in front of everyone. Here Franz found it very strange as M Hamel did not say anything to him instead politely asked him to get inside and take his seat. M Hamel also said that the class was begin without him. Franz went to his seat After some time when he became comfortable as his teacher didn't scold him he noticed that M Hamel had worn his best embroidered fancy green coat that day M Hamel normally wore it on occasions like inspections and prize distribution days Franz wondered and thinking as if there was something special day or what because it wasn't look a normal day then what could be the reason for M Hamel to wear his special dress To his surprise he also saw the villagers all huddled up in the classroom they were all present in the classroom he saw old hosher the former mayor the former postmaster and many others were sitting on the back bench of the class all seated with a solemn look on their faces means they were they all looked sad hosher had brought his reader which was old and torn he had opened it kept it on his knees and had placed his spectacles on it franz was confused and could not figure that out what was exactly happening that day just then m hamel told them that it was their last lesson in french language and from next day onwards there will be no french classes as the prussians in berlin order to teach german in schools instead of french Franz was shocked and very sad to know that he could not learn French any longer and he also come to know what was exactly there in the bulletin board of the town hall as we have already discussed earlier that all the bad news come through the bulletin board and this news had shaken him very badly Franz regretted for not being serious in French class and towards his studies Instead he wasted his time in hunting birds egg and playing in the Saar river his books that he always found boring heavy to carry his grammar texts his history of the saints now they all seemed to him like old best friends whom he could never leave the writer wants to show the change in franz attitude towards study after hearing the news that he could not learn french any longer The news that the teacher M Hamel was leaving also had a similar impact on him. Franz did not want him to go away. Even the idea that he was leaving made him forget M Hamel's scolding, his strictness, and now he wanted to learn his own language French, but now it seemed impossible. In this paragraph Franz understood that why M Hamel worn his best dress. he won in honor of his last lesson he also realized that the village men had come to pay respect and thank m hamel for his service of 40 years in that school the village men had come to the class as they were also repenting for not have studied well in the childhood 
they had come to thank the teacher for his 40 years of service as a teacher of french also they wanted to show respect to their country and were sad as their mother tongue french would no longer be taught to them m hamel called out the name france as it was his turn to answer the question on the topic of participles as the bad news had impacted france very badly he was eager to study from him again and so he was desperate to show his eagerness he wanted to answer the topic in one go and without any mistake and wanted to make his teacher happy but france did not know anything about the lesson and participle he got confused and stood quietly his heart was beating fast as he was ashamed of himself and did not have the courage to face his teacher M Hamel said to Franz that he would not scold him as now he had realized his mistake. Every day Franz told himself that he would study the next day, but now the opportunity to study had over and he knew nothing, not a single thing of French letter. M Hamel said that all the people of Alsace were to be blamed as no one was serious towards learning. He told the class that the enemies your enemies are the prussians would laugh at them and would say that they only showed off to be frenchmen as they can neither speak nor write their own language he further said that france should not feel guilty as everyone was at fault m hamel also said that france parents were not interested in getting him educated they wanted him to work at a farm or a mill and earn some money He said that as a teacher he was also not interested in teaching them. He would send them to his home to water the plants. Sometime he would declare a holiday and go for fishing. M Hamel praised their mother tongue. French language has been the most beautiful, clearest and most logical language in the world. He tells the class to guard their language. as it is the only way to free oneself from the prison of slavery if a person knows his mother tongue well no one can enslave him knowing the mother tongue well as a language is a tool to fight domination the teacher took a lesson in grammar that day franz was surprised that he understood the lesson without any difficulty he felt that he had been attentive and the m hamel also explained the lesson with a lot of patience franz felt that the teacher wanted to give them all the knowledge he had before leaving after the grammar lesson m hamel gave the class new notebooks for handwriting practice and in the notebook the words already were written very beautifully and that was franz alsace franz alsace those words look like a little flags to him his country france classroom was filled with the feelings of patriotism the entire class was busy in writing and the only sound that could be heard was that scratching of the pen writing on the paper once some beetles fly got in but nobody paid any attention to them not even the little kids The cooing of the pigeons means the sound of the pigeons on the roof made Franz wondered whether the Germans had made the birds sing in German as well The writer wants to say that no one can force anyone to change or until one wants not even pigeons or frenchmen While Franz was writing he frequently looking at M Hamel who was sitting quietly with sad face and staring at different things in the classroom for a long time as if he wanted to memorize the every single thing before leaving m hamel had been teaching for the last 40 years the only changes were that the decks in the classroom had worn out due to overuse for many long years the walnut trees in the garden outside had grown taller The hop vine on the outer wall of the school building had climbed up to the roof. Franz feels that the teacher must be heartbroken as he was asked to leave the place forcefully where he has spent 40 years of his life. The noises of his sister 
packing and moving the luggage could be heard from the room upstairs as they had to leave the next day. M. Hamel remained composed and attentive and asked the entire class to recite the lesson. After the writing task, there was a lesson of history followed by phonetics, where they recited the sounds of alphabet. Franz referred to the class as babies because although they were grown up, they were reciting the lesson of phonetics which is usually done by the younger children. As you all have noticed in your school in the junior wings, how the little ones repeat the things after the teacher. So he called himself as his class to be babies. Haja had put on his spectacles and holding the primer or the reader in both his hands and recited the letters. He was crying, his voice trembled as he spoke. Franz had mixed feelings as he was very young to understand. He found it funny to see how an old man like Hauser was crying and trembling. And on the other hand, Franz also felt emotional like Hauser did. Franz could never forget his last lesson. Suddenly the church clock struck 12. At the same time, the sound of the trumpets played by the Prussian soldiers who were returning from the drill was heard. M. Hammer's face became dull and colorless as the time had come for the class to get over. He stood straight and motionless and Franz says that he had never seen his teacher like this before. M. Hamel wanted to speak but couldn't as he was overpowered by his emotions. He took a piece of chalk and wrote the words Vive la France on the blackboard as large as he could. The words Vive la France means long live France. Then he stopped writing, bent towards the wall and without speaking anything but with the action of his hands asked the class to leave as the class was over forever. So my friends, the last lesson is a story as relatable today as it was when it was written. It clearly showed that we should respect one's language as it is of great importance. Let's have the summary. The last lesson written by Alphonse Daudet narrates about the year 1870 when the Prussian forces under Bismarck attacked and captured France. The French districts of Alsace and Lorraine went into Prussian hands. The new Prussian rulers discontinued the teaching of French in the schools of these two districts. The French teacher were asked to leave. Now M. Hamel could no longer stay in his old school. Still he gave the last lesson to his students with utmost devotions and sincerity as ever. One such student of M. Hamel, Franz, who dreaded French class and M. Hamel's iron rod, came to the school that day thinking he would be punished as he had not learned his lesson on participles. But on reaching school, he found Hamel dressed in his fine Sunday clothes and the old people of the village sitting quietly on the back benches. It was due to an order from Berlin. That was the first day when he realized for the first time that how important French was for him. But it was his last lesson in French. The story depicts the pathos of the whole situation about how people feel when they don't learn their own language. It tells us about the significance of one's language in one's life for the very existence of a race and how important it is to safeguard it. I hope you have got the answers of the above questions which I had asked at the very beginning of the video. Well then for sticking with me all the way through to the end of the lesson. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already just down there. So I will see you in the next one. Till then take a very good care. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.